If you've been keeping up with anime for even a short amount of time, there's a good chance you've heard of or even watched a harem anime series or two. In harem anime, a single male character is surrounded by a group of women or girls who are all vying for his romantic affections. Reverse harems are essentially the same, except it's a female character surrounded by male suitors instead. Whether you're a person who is attracted to men and like a little man service with your viewing experience, or you like anime with female leads, the reverse harem genre is a great place to look. <laughs> Toru Honda becomes an indispensable part of the darkly mysterious Soma family, forming individual relationships with each of its members, several of whom are boys with some level of attraction towards her. What makes Fruits Basket so interesting is Toru isn't simply there to absorb and soothe the copious emotional problems of the boys around her. She's there to learn how to let other people take care of her, too. This is a huge problem, given they're responsible for overseeing mankind. To address this pressing problem, Zeus enrolls the gods in a school with a human classmate named Yui Kusanagi. Yui is charged with teaching these gods how to love again, but will they be able to learn that lesson before they beat the living snot out of each other? Subjective, she enrolls in a performing arts school called Satome Academy. One of the requirements is she has to form a partnership with a classmate who wants to become an idol. But with seven different boys vying for her attention, choosing is no easy task. This reverse harem anime offers a combination of dark, gory themes and utter ridiculousness in the form of musical fight scenes. No, really, the characters sing when they fight. For that reason alone, Dance with the Devils is well worth watching. <laughs> Give Beckford, it grants her the unwanted ability to melt everything she touches. For this reason, she's feared by everyone in town, but she is also desired by many. When the British army arrests her to take control of the Horologium, she's rescued by Arsene Lupin, an expert thief. Thus begins her journey to find out why her father implanted the Horologium inside of her. On that journey, she meets a researcher called Victor Frankenstein, a battle expert named Abraham Van Helsing an inventor named M.P. Barbicane, and a noble called Saint Germain. As they try to help her find the truth behind her past, they also compete for her affections. She finds herself living with 13 new stepbrothers. At first, she approaches the brothers as potential new family members. But some of the relationships begin to take on a more romantic spirit. Which of these 13 boys will Emma choose? If you can get over the vaguely familiar relation tones, this is a pretty fun show. <laughs> 